Hello everyone. Today's book is called Shy Charles by Rosemary Wells. Charles was happy as he could be. But he liked to play alone. He wouldn't talk to Wanda Sue. And he never went near the phone. It's a new day, said Charles's mother. Let's go in the store and say hello. We'll buy a sweet potato pie and we'll say goodbye before we go. Wonderful morning, said Mrs. Belinsky. A chocolate surprise for my beautiful boy. Say thank you, whispered Charles's mother. Thank you, yelled Mrs. Belinsky. Enjoy. His mother told him, say goodbye. Charles hid inside a flower sack. Goodbye with kisses, said Mrs. Belinsky. Someday when he's big, he'll kiss me back. I'm so embarrassed, said Charles's mother. You never say goodbye or thank you. Lucky for you that I'm so nice. Another mother would spank you. This can't go on, said Charles's dad. I'm sick and tired of thank you fights. It's time he played football or joined the ballet. Next Tuesday, Charles was in tights. Isn't he sweet? cried Madame Lafleur. Charles wouldn't say maybe or no or yes. For a week, he pretended to be asleep. Charles was not a success. So Charles's father took him to town and bought him some beautiful football things. The shirt was scarlet with shoulder pads. The helmet had silver wings. Charles, said his father, You'll be the best. Like lightning, you'll streak across the grass. Like butter, you'll melt the defensive line. And you'll throw the winning pass. Charles trembled like an autumn leaf. Hi, roared the coach. My name is Fred. He doesn't look so well to me. Take him home and put him to bed. Charles, said his dad, you're a jelly roll. You're just a cowardly custard. You're like a sandwich without the bread, not to mention the ham and mustard. How will you ever go to school or find a job or get married? Charles sat down and cried so hard. He had to be carried. Then Charles's father murmured low, a babysitter is coming tonight. You know the one? It's Mrs. Block. 
and everything will be all right. The sun went down, the sitter came. His parents left at six o'clock. Charles skedaddled up the stairs. Come back, little push cake, cried Mrs. Block. Charles played happily in his room. He made a spaceship out of his chairs. Suddenly, there was a terrible crash. Mrs. Block had fallen downstairs. Charles got her onto the sofa. He told her, now don't be nervous. He brought her a blanket and cocoa. Then he called the emergency service. He saved my life, moaned Mrs. Block. He's a prince, a gem, a hero. And everyone shouted, thank you, Charles. But Charles said, zero.